This land is plagued by corruption and greed. It's been more than two decades since anyone has collected all eight badges. The gym leaders, although very skilled, only accept challenges from their own exclusive clubs or other unfavored folk. Seeking answers to unravel the mysteries that destroy the fabric of this world, you embark on a mission of truth and deception. Only the bonds you forge will allow you to overcome the Crimson Frost. Chapter 2 Frosty Expeditions The key to unlocking the answers to the ice gym lay in the distant Christmas village. Before you go on your search, you decide to capture some utility Pokémon to help you out on your journey. After you find the Christmas village, known as Mount Lanakila, the people reluctantly inform you of their issues troubling the town. The villagers needed a newly captured Solrock to replace the village core. After helping them, the elders tell you the only way to battle the Ice Gym. One must don Sunstone armor and have several notable battles to gain the eye of the gym leader. Only then may you hope to challenge the Ice Gym. Yo, Hawkin, what up? Feels good to be home, doesn't it? Now, we had a pretty decent journey over at Mount Lanakila. We were actually able to help the village folk out with their issues concerning the village core and we were able to help them protect the village with a nice village guard, an army of char cadets. And because of that, we were actually given valuable information about the ice gym. So we got a pretty good idea of how we're going to move forward. But before we do that, I want to take some time to tend to our own village. I want to make some upgrades to the house for starters and also I want to clean up this area a bit we want to remove some of these apricorn trees we don't need as many red ones and I want to find a good place to put a mine shaft there's also the interior of the house I want to take care of that as well we got a bunch of new items from our adventure and actually put some new stuff in here. I removed the junk chest from over here and I put it inside the supply room. Yeah, bunch of stuff. You look excited, Hacken. Don't worry, we're gonna get Farfetch to help with most of this stuff. We also wanna furnish upstairs and there's a few more things I wanna get to, but let's get some rest first. All right, there's also the matter of the berry farm. We actually been neglecting our berry farm. We wanna pick a bunch of berries cause we're gonna use some juice later. We're gonna do a lot of juicing. So, it'd be a good idea to tend to these berries. All right, Hawkin, let's take a trip real quick. There's a nice little hut on this side of the village I wanna make use of. There's this little hut here. It's pretty close to our home. I wanna turn this building into something interesting. So we want to do that as well. Like I said before, I want to use all of these buildings in this village for functionality. There's also the matter of the utility team. Those guys are going to have to get a lot more stronger. We're going to need them to help out and pull their weight, especially the diglets. But I want to get these far fetched stronger too. I want an entire cut team. And there's also Keldio's Quest. That's right, Hawkin. We didn't forget about Keldil's quest. Yeah, we're gonna have to take care of that eventually as well. 
taking a look from up here, you know what? It actually looks like that's a good spot for a mine shaft now that I see it from up here. Alright, Hacking. What do you think? We got our work cut out for us, don't we? Village upgrades. You wanna upgrade the house, build the mine shaft, make use of one of the other shacks, tend to the farms, and I don't know what we're gonna do about this swamp. It's making our roof rotten. Alright, let's get to work. Man, Hawken, it's been raining for days. I wanted to show you the work we did outside, but I guess it's gonna have to wait till the morning. I can still show you what we did around the house. All right, let's get some sleep. I'll give you a tour first thing in the morning. All right, rise and shine, Hawken. <laughs> you like what we did with the place, huh? Got a bunch of dope pictures. Quag sire. Hey, stop dancing on the table. You mad excited. You must be super excited, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm hyped too, Hawking. I like what we did up here. Got a nice little couch. Sit back, watch some TV. Get the poke news. Dope pictures too, dope pictures. Let's head downstairs. Yeah. Check it out, Hawking. Dope. Nice little dining area. Can sit down and have some breakfast. More dope pics. Dope, dope, dope. Look at this, Hawking. Ha <laughs> We actually added some light into our storage room. Nice little seat in case we want to look at the PC for a while. I like the lighting in this place. The kitchen came out fire. I love the kitchen. All of our appliances fit perfectly. We even got some stuff cooking. Epic. Yeah, everything worked out perfectly. I wore some clothes. See, look, I can stand on the counter all I want, Hawking. Yeah. I like the way these pictures lined up, too. Nice touch, don't you think? It was actually a far fetched idea. Nice little nook to do some research. Look out the window a bit. Yep. <sighs> that hurt. And we got some more lighting in here. And that's what we really did with these. Organize the storage. Put some lighting in. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. I like the plants. Everything looks amazing. Let's head outside. Alright. Looking at the outside of the house. Yeah. I love the way this came out. Dope. 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 The roof actually came along pretty good. I like what we did with the roof. Farfetch was like, let's add some trim. I'm like, good job, Farfetch. It even made me like the side of the buildings too. I wasn't really feeling these walls, but now I love them. Perfect, perfect. I tell you, man, good stuff. We did something with the hut. Look, we got us an enchanted hut. Let's go. A mini enchantment hut. We're going to need that for the future. And we actually cleared this road up, if you haven't noticed. This entire road got pushed down a bit and pushed all the way back. And we made the mine shaft. Or at least the start of it. Yep, this is going to be the entrance to our mine, people. I'm going to start working on this in a bit. Yeah, looks dope, looks dope. Yeah, we had to bring this road back some. Dope, dope, dope. Now, this place has a lot more space. And you know what? Actually, we were actually chasing EVs up and down this hill, believe it or not. A bunch of EVs kept spawning. And I noticed something dope up here. Let me show you guys. Let me show you, Hawking. This is a nice high location. But if you take a look, there's an area over here I found real interesting. Let's see if I can find it. Where is it? All right, it's over here. If we take a look, over this hill, there's actually a giant hole in the ground. Insane. I thought it was a ravine, but no, it's just a giant hole. We could use this to our advantage. 
we're going to do something interesting. We only just got to worry about getting that trainer out of there. There's actually a quest giver down there. We're going to find a way to get him out of this trap. Then I got some plans. All right, let's get back to work. Got to dig this mine out. Let's start digging. Wish I had some good diglets about now. All right, Hawking, we did it. We finished digging down to the mines. Let's check it out. We dug all the way down to about Y11. There was actually a pretty big space down here already. Full of lava, but we cleared it out. I want to clear this entire space out. Also, I want to make some tunnels so we can dig in an orderly fashion. I was thinking one by one tunnels and I was going to line them up with this wood. Make it look, you know, dope. So let me figure this out real quick. I want to actually set up some tunnels on each side going each direction. I have to dig some of this stuff out. Then I want to add some storage down here too, but for now, let me just measure out some hallways and some actual shafts. I know Hawking, I know Hawking. This is a lot, but I like to make it look good. We want to spend a lot of time down here. Wish I had some diglets to help out. Yeah, let's open this hallway up a bit too. I want to open this hallway up. It should be a three by three, but I'm gonna start with a two by two for now. I'll open up the hallway a little bit wider as we move down the line. Every hundred blocks or so. <gasps> diamonds! Yes, diamonds! This is exactly what we did this for. We need supplies and we need rare supplies like diamonds. We found a couple of diamonds so far by exploring and by caving, but this is going to be the most efficient way to find diamonds, and we're going to need a lot of them, so let's start excavating, peeps. Let's do it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Hopefully no lava pops out. Let's get this iron. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Yes, sir. Diamonds. Yes, yes, yes. We've needed diamonds for a while. We need to get new tools. We went through so many different gym tools to get these, to get to where we are now. But these diamonds are going to come in handy. Yes. How many was that? I think that was about six. Let's see. Yeah, six. Perfect. Yes, 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 yes. All good. All good. All right, back to the tunnels. I actually like this design. Yeah, we're going to do it like this. Skip to create a hallway. All good. Perfect. Let's finish this up, and then we'll head back to the surface. All right, back outside. Back upstairs. Now, if we take a look, we actually created a staircase up to the top of this little hill. We want to use this to access the hill easier. Now, when we're chasing EVs, we won't have so much of a problem. We want to clear this out just a bit. Because we're going to do something interesting over here. Remember, Hawken, we have plans for this area. Big plans. All right, Hawken, time to execute our plan. But first, we got to get this guy out of this hole. What is he doing down there? All right, man, we're going to save you. We're going to get you out of here. Let's chop down the street first. We're going to make a staircase. Follow me. We're going to get you out of here. All right, let's finish digging up. Make a clear staircase to get this person out. We have to execute our plan. Let's go. Come out. This way, this way. Yeah. All right, let's close this up. 
Good stuff, good stuff. Because we're going to fill this entire thing with water. We're going to be making it rain here, so you don't want to be down there. All right, bro? Where did he go? What the hell? Where did he go? Don't t Are you serious? Really, bro? You went back down there? Really? You jumped back down there? Oh, man. Yo, you're going to have to... Oh, oh, my gosh. Whoops, too bad. We're going through with our plan. We're going to flood this entire area with rain. Using Whooper. With rain dance. Let's go, Whooper. Let's get to it. All right, Whooper. Do your thing. Yeah, it's raining. Uh, you don't want to be down there for too long. I would get out of there if I were you. Ah. Uh, this should take a few days. All right, Whooper. We've been at it for days now. And it's getting there. It's getting there. It's definitely flooding. Oh, man. We need to start thinking about shelter. This tree canopy isn't holding us. Good job, the Whooper. You're doing a great job. Keep the rain coming. Oh, man. All right. The rain is coming to an end. Yeah, Whooper, look at this. It's definitely filling up. Great job. Man. You know what? You know what, Whooper? I got you. I'm going to get you some help. Whooper? Quagsire. Yeah, Quagsire can rain dance too. All right, Quagsire. Make it rain. There you go, Whooper. Now you got help. You should have this filled up in no time. Probably a few more days left. These cauldrons should fill up too. Hawking, we did it. Did a great job. Let's head up the mountainside. Oh, look. A boss bee drew? Wow, insane. But let's head up the hillside. Let's go. Look at this, Hawking. Yeah, our new fishing spot. Yeah, we got a bridge. It filled up nicely. Good job, Whooper. It's a... It's even Magic Cop in there already. Whooper did great. Whooper. And we made some shelter. A little fishing shack. Sounds simple. Nice little sitting area. Nice. Don't keep you out the rain. Where you going? Yeah, I like it. Dope, dope, dope. Wait, wait, wait. We also got this little creek with a bridge. I like these little bridges with small creeks. I like that. Dope, dope. And a waterfall. Woohoo! Down to the berry farm. Epic. All right, let's head inside while it's raining. Waterfall looks good. All right, let's head inside. I like it from this angle, too. Dope. Dope. We got the waterfall, the mines. Epic. We got our hut over there. Epic, epic, epic. Good job, Whooper. All right, I'm hungry. Time to cook some stuff. And I can dry off by the fire. Good job, Quagsire. Good job. All right, going upstairs. Excuse me, Hawking. It's been raining for days. You know what we're going to do? We're going to chill out and relax until the rain stops. Let me know when the rain stops, Quagsire. Be right here. Watching Pokemon Indigo League.
Hey, Wooper, what up? Yo, Hawking, listen up. It's time we move on to the next phase. It's time we start taking care of Keldeo's quest. We met Keldeo a few weeks ago down by the river. And since then, been an outstanding companion. But I'm still worried about the conversation we had. Keldeo still seems to think we're in great danger. And the road ahead is only going to get more tough and more perilous as we continue. Keldeo also recently mentioned that it was sent to aid us by Verizon, that same legendary Pokemon that's been stalking us over at the Berry Farm. Now, if we can get Keldeo to somehow learn its former sword techniques, it's going to be of great use to us, and we're definitely going to be able to use this power in the future. Considering what we're up against, we're going to need all the help we can get. We promise that we'll help Keldeo return to its former glory. But that's exactly what we're going to do. It's not going to be easy, but we don't have a choice. The sword techniques Keldeo needs to learn is actually the sacred sword and the secret sword. Now I did some research. The best way to go about this gonna have to be the move relearner so we're gonna have to track that guy down somehow and that should help us out with Keldeo's quest for sure and the next thing we're gonna have to get to I really want to train up the utility team I want to train up the far fetches the cut team as well as the diglets the dig team and I got a couple other teams I want to put together strictly for utility all right, Hawking, let's run over to the PC real quick. If we take a look, let's go to the utility box. These are all of our utility Pokemon. We got the dig team with the dig team captain. We got the cut team with the cut team captain, the only far fetch that knows cut. We got the smelt team, the team just for smelting. We got some Mad Reaps for harvesting. We got somebody for Rock Smash, Rain Dance, and we got all of our mounts down here. Now, a few of these mounts aren't ready yet. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna train everybody up and make sure everybody's ready to go and at top shape for their best utility, especially the cut team and the dig team. So yeah, let's get everybody together and we're gonna head out soon. All right, let's go. All right, Keldeo, take us over to the berry farm. We got to get you guys juiced up. I don't think you've had any juice yet, Keldeo. I got you. Ouch. All right, we've been working on juice lately. Got a lot of juice cooking. Speed juice. Attack juice. All of this good stuff over here. Get that going. Put this away real quick. I want to get some more berries juice going real quick. All right. All right. Now we're cooking. Yeah, I prepared a lot of juice. Look at all this juice. Tons of attack juice. Tons of speed juice. That's what these guys are going to mainly need. Attack and speed. That's what the utility team needs. And we probably could use some special attack juice for our dude, too. Yeah. Keldeo needs special attack juice. All right, let's get people juiced up. All right, Keldeo, you're up first. We want to get you juiced up with all special attack and speed. Yep, all the way up to max. Alright, 
Now it's time to do the diglets as well as the far fetches. They're all going to need attack juice and speed juice. Let's get it. All right, Dreadnought, you two. You're going to get attack and defense. Yeah. All right, Keldeo, we're going to increase your physical attack to the max. All right, everybody's all juiced up. Now we can head out. All right, Hawking. Everybody's all juiced up. Now we can whip these punks into shape. Now, let's talk about training grounds. As you know, our favorite training grounds is going to have to be the mountains. Let's take a look at the map. Now, we've been through several mountainous areas all throughout Mugen. There's the famous Charmander Mountain outside of the Black Forest Village. Also, the HQ of Team Galactic. There's this interesting mountaintop over here by the desert to the east. Interesting place. We found a bunch of grottos there. There's this mountain to the north that we did a lot of training in for the gym, the grass gym, that has this enchanted forest. Real majestic place. Then there's this mountain area over here in the snowy region. This is a gravel top mountain. Probably a bunch of gravelers over there. But there's a mountain we haven't been to yet. There's this mountainous region far, far north. Close to that snowy village we found. I want to go to that mountaintop. There's some other interesting biomes near this mountaintop that I want to take interest in as well. Like this meadows and this other biome here. All of these biomes should have our target. So regardless, we should be able to find them. The move relearner. So I right, hacking. We got our location. We got the destination. So let's head out. Let's get it. Okay, a church in the middle of an enchanted forest. All right, Hawking, we going in. All right, let's go. Ouch. All right. Let's go this way. Yeah, this place has a lot of light. I love these forests. All right, let's make our way into the church. Oh, it's not a block. Alright, let's see what we got, Hawking. Which way? How do you get in this joint? Did I miss the entrance? I think I did. This way, this way, this way. Hold on. This place. This place is giving me the creeps. Hold up. Alright, through, through here. It should be through here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, here we go. Alright, torches. And crown, yeah, baby. Let's go. We need this relic crown, man. We're broke. This is gonna come in handy. Thank you. Don't mind if I do. Take everything. Yeah. Definitely need these rods. Yep. We're jammed up on inventory already. Good stuff. Man, that book is crazy. Alright, let's head out. Fairies everywhere. Yo, I thought it was daytime. That's how enchanted this forest is. Wait, is it daytime? Uh -huh. Yo, Xernia statue. Epic. This place, man. Where's the other grave room? You know what? This place is giving me the creeps. 
Yeah. Wait. Leaf stone shard. I'll take that. I'll take that. All right, let's get out of here. Man. This place, man. Which way? Um, this way. Oh, them pony ties. Yeah. Which way? I know we're getting distracted right now, but I could have sworn I just heard. Pincer. Yeah, you heard that? Pincer. There's a pincer here somewhere. Yeah. Hold up. Are they up on top of these trees? Hold up. Oh, we got to try to get this Pinsa, man. Yo. Pinsa and Scyther are my all-time favorite duos. Yeah. Vice Grip. Let's go. Yep, we're going up. We're going up. I don't care. We're going up. A Pinsa? Let's go. Let's see. Where is it? This place is crazy. There it goes. There it goes. Yes. Yes. Oh, two Pinsir. of them. Two pincers. Oh, I'm capturing both of them. Yeah. Yeah. Where's my capture bag? Yeah, we capping both of them. Pinsir. Yep, 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 yep. Give me my PC. Yeah, we're going to have to go with Haunter for this. Yep, 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 yep. Let's go. Pinsir. I want both of these. Where you at, Haunt? Let's go, Haunt. You know the score. You know the deal, Haunt. Let's go. Yes, sir. Hold up, Hawkin. Haunt got this. Alright, set it off. Wait, no. Haunter. We need to use Haunter. You know what? We'll try with Keldeo. Why not? Let's go! Diglett is evolving! Let's go, Doug Trio, baby! Doug Trio! Let's go! Trio, trio, trio. Alright, that's dope, that's dope. Trio, trio, Now, there's trio. another one over here somewhere. Where did he go? Did he go to the ground? Oh, there does he go. Trying to climb down my wood planks. Yep, that's a cap. Let's get it. Two pincers. All right, time to get out of here. We've been delayed too long. Time to get the Keldeo's quest. All right, we made it to the mountains, finally. This mountain is on the edge of this enchanted forest. Dope, dope, dope. All right, let's scout out the whole mountain range. And then we're going to get down to business. All right, we're ready to go. Keldeo, you're up. You know what? Let's destroy this Roly. Roly, you're done. <laughs> okay, that was easy. All right, Keldeo. We're out here looking for the move relearner. That way, we can teach you your former moves. Now, this could take days. Oh, Moonstone. Yeah, this could take days. But, we'll get it. 
Oh, another rolly. Easy clap. All right. Oh yeah. Yeah, we learned that. Let's go. Diglett is evolving. Another Doug trio. Let's go. Diglett evolved. Santoon, yep. Get rid of Mud Slap. Let's go. Two Doug trios. We're going to have six Doug trios soon. Let's go. This is going to be quick. Keldeo is going to level these dudes up fast. Let's get it. Oh, I can't stand sturdy. All right, we got it. Let's go, Keldeo. All right, let's go. Oh, what's that? A cast form. Yeah, I like these dudes. Let's go, Keldeo. We capping this. It should be an easy clap. Or an easy cap.
Holy shit. Man, it's always the ones you least expect. Let's go! Diglett is evolving! Another Doug Trio. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Another duck trio. Let's get it. And another one, another Doug Trio. No more Diglett Digs. Straight Doug Trios. You're doing a great job, Keldio. Jump up. Hey. Oh, a move tutor. And he's from Team Rocket. Yo, what up, bro? Rocket Gang. Hey, these aren't the moves Keldio needs. All right, Keldio, we got to keep looking. Let's keep looking. Oh, the champ. Who's this dude? Transfer tutor. Okay. Okay. Uh, good moves. Not the moves we need, though. All right. Nah, that ain't it. All right, Keldio. Let's keep looking. Let's roll. There's somebody over here. Oh. Old fisherman. Okay. And... <gasps> oh, shit. Let's go, Keldio. It's him! Keldio! It's the move relearner! Oh man, let's go, Keldio. He should be able to help you out. Oh man, Aerial Ace. Wait. Can't learn cut? Wait. Okay, cut. Yes, yes, yes! This is the dude! This is the dude. This is the dude. Keldio, Keldio, we might have your quest complete. Let's check. Secret Sword! Secret Sword and Sacred Sword! We did it! We did it! And Keldio, there you go. Yo! Now we're gonna make sure everybody has cut. Let's start with that. Yeah, we're gonna learn cut and all of these good air moves with Farfetch. I ain't gonna hold you. Alright, alright. Everybody's gonna get. All of the good moves that they forgot. All the far fetches are gonna get cut and aerial ace. And we wanna see what else people can get from the past. We might be able to cook up some devastating moves with our other mons too. We wanna sit here a while and go through every single mon and see who can get what, who forgot what. This is gonna be interesting. This is gonna be crazy. Let's get it going i've been waiting for this dude since we started because every time you capture a new mon and they don't have the moves you want them to learn you got to teach it to them through tms or you can make sure if they learned it before in the past they can relearn it for free for free sometimes you can get some of the most powerful moves in a game this way oh my god this is insane this is insane yep cut 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 Yep, everybody's going to learn Cut. Everybody's going to get Fury Cutter. We're going to get all of our main Pokemon to get the best moves they can possibly get. And a lot of these Mons, they forgot some powerful moves that we never seen. So this is going to be insane. Insane. Hold up. You, trust me, dude. You're not going anywhere, anytime soon. Holy shit. Keldeo, 
the mythical Pokémon. This Pokémon crosses the world, running over the surfaces of oceans and rivers. By blasting water from its hooves, it can glide across water. When it is resolute, its body fills with power and it becomes swifter. Its jumps are then too fast to follow. This Pokémon excels at using leg moves while battling. It appears at scenic waterfronts or during troubling times. The members of the Swords of Justice taught this Pokémon how to fight. It dashes across the world, seeking more opportunities to further its training. They say that Keldeo must survive harsh battles and fully develop the horn on its forehead before this Pokémon's true power will awaken. Alright. Scythe is good. Haunter should be good too. Yeah, we had Haunter since a baby. Yeah. What about... I think that's it. Wait. Let's check one more person. We've been out here all night. Almost for two whole days with this dude. Poliwhirl. Alright. We can get Bubble Bean. Better than Water Gun. Yeah. Yo, this is insane. We getting mad dope moves. I want to check some more people. Stay right there, my dude. You won't be going anywhere for a while. Yeah, who else needs help? Let's see. We got a bunch more people to check. Man, we've been out here for days. Man. We got so many good moves out of that. Holy shite. Yo, look at Keldeo. And we got all of our utility Pokemon trained up. Good job, Keldeo. Good job. Let's go. Everybody's in tip top shape. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I know I'm not bugging. I know I'm not bugging. <gasps> Yo, Inte. A Inte spawned. Keldeo, oh no, holy shit, no, 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 we need the big boys out, we need the big boys, let's go, let's go, let's go, utility team, beat it, we need all the big dogs, all the big dogs, uh, Inte, we're taking this battle, let's go, let's go, let's go, now this is gonna be like our first official legendary battle, any other time, we had no chance at winning, and we just straight up tried to cap by luck, holy shit, let's go, let's go, we're gonna battle this dude, and try to cap him. Oh shit, he's oh my god, he just whipped Haunt ass. Up, oh, this might be crazy. Let's go, Keldeo. New Keldeo. Oh, this is gonna be crazy. Hold up. Wait, 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 wait. Ooh. All right, Keldeo, focus, focus. Take it easy. You got this, Keldeo. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yo! Look at the giant sword attack. Sacred sword. Was that secret sword? Sacred sword. Secret sword. Yo, we need a lot of healing items. Yo, Keldeo looks sick. Alright, this is going to take a lot of resources. Oh, be careful, Keldeo. Don't kill it. Chill out, Keldeo. It's our first legendary, man. Yo, Keldeo wildin'. Oh, come on. Don't kill it, Keldeo. Man, we might have to make this... We might have to make it a little weaker, all right? Ultra Balls, let's go. Ultra Balls is the best we're going to be able to do. Man. It's not doing much to Keldeo, though. I'll tell you that much. 20 levels above Keldeo. Keldeo's holding it its own. Tell you that much. Yeah, we're going to have to thug this out. We in for the long haul. Let's go, Keldeo. Let's go. Get 
Gallio. This dude was gonna be tough, but god damn. Alright, Caldeo, it's on you. Now be careful. This dude is already weak. Let's do this. Okay, Caldeo. That was wild. Um Yeah, don't worry about it. It's not like we needed that Entei anyway. Didn't expect you to obliterate it though. Don't worry. You'll learn how to control your power someday. Well, can't catch them all. We did get a new Keldeo though. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's go. Keldeo. Back to your former glory. Hawking, Keldeo's back in rear form. Dope, dope, dope. Let's go! Keldeo, you just showing off now. Yeah, let's head back home. We did it! We completed Keldeo's quest! Abra, take us home. Another quest complete. Thank you. Alright, everybody get out here. You all did great. Wonderful. Great job. Dragnor. Farfetched. Keldeo. Yeah. This is the utility team. Plus Wooper. There we go. Let's get it. What are you two talking about? Keldeo and Hawking getting along well. What are you talking about? 
Uh, Keldio showing off his new sword techniques. Look, Keldio showing how he slayed. Inte. <laughs> Yo, Keldio bragging about slaying Inte. It's crazy. Get out here, Dreadno. Oh man, this is crazy. Stop bragging, Keldio. We know you destroyed a legendary. We get it. You're powerful now. Oh man. This is crazy though, man. Epic. Chapter 2 Frosty Expeditions. The key to unlocking the answers to the Ice Gym lay in the distant Christmas village. Before you go on your search, you decide to capture some utility Pokemon to help you out on your journey. After you find the Christmas village, known as Mount Lanakila, the people reluctantly inform you of their issues troubling the town. The villagers needed a newly captured Sol Rock to replace the village core. After helping them, the elders tell you the only way to battle the Ice Gym. One must don Sunstone armor and have several notable battles to gain the eye of the gym leader. Only then may you hope to challenge the Ice Gym. What are you doing, Rupa? Wait, Eternus has spawned? Hold up. No. Kelvio, relax. What the hell? Yo. Eternus. Is it watching us? What is Eternus doing spying on us? Keldio, get down here. Oh, my God.